Welcome to this episode of Toys Bag Zen. This was not a planned episode, but I was in my local dollar store and I noticed they had some G.I. Joe products I've never seen in the stores before. That glider was kind of cool. We've got some Lego style toys. This helicopter up here, pretty cheap looking toys. Nothing that I'm super interested in. Take a look at this. It does have some nice artwork on the card here. Looks nostalgic. Back at home, and I did pick up this soaring slingshot glider. That's hard to say. Soaring shin soaring slingshot glider. Say that ten times fast. 18 inches wide over a hundred feet slingshot distance so apparently you know this is from uh, the dollar tree or the dollar store it says hasbro here and the other toys i saw they were just just too cheap for me and i mean this is a cheap looking thing but it seems like it'd be fun to play with 2021 i'm wondering if this is Hasbro's retaliation to Final Faction that they're selling at the dollar stores here in Canada and in the States. I see I see them there. It's really just a small, it looks like a small kite um, that you put. Well, there's a figure there. But I'm going to try to make it so that I can put my G.I. Joes on this and make them fly. But we'll try it out. Let's open this up and see what we get. Here's the packaging. You can see the back. It tells you how to put it together. So the glider is made out of cloth. They had a green one and a black one. And I really like this black one. I picked the black one over the green. The green was kind of like neon, just like the figure that's on here. Fuse gliding, that's the top, and then here is the bottom with the figure. It's got some weird uh, marks there just from the box, and then here is the slingshot because it's like a slingshot, so you gotta make it go that way. Here's the instructions here. We just push the poles into those little openings there. Put this together like this. It's one side. So it feels like it's going to break. This plastic is supposed to bend like this. And then you put those in there like that. And that's what you get. So we'll take this out and fly it and see how it works before we do that i'm going to alter this to see if i can put a three and three quarter inch gi joe on this i think it'll work and i think it'll fit the hands that are holding onto the glider that little green man there they actually are not molded together they're separate pieces so i should be able to remove this just like that After my modifications, Ace is ready for launch. You ready, Ace? Let's go.
So in conclusion, I highly recommend this. I did use some CA glue and I glued this in so it won't fall off again. I really enjoy the fact that I can use this with my three and three quarter inch figures. I wasn't sure if it was possible and I really don't like this at all. So I'm happy to just replace this. Obviously I'm gonna use this on display. I think it's gonna look really good. Is it in scale? Uh, it's not too bad actually. It's probably more in scale with the figure that they had on it, but just the really easy and simple modification makes this a really fun toy. And I'm gonna put this in my collection. It would be cool to have a Cobra one too. Perhaps I will get the green one and if I can dye it blue or purple or something like that and use that for Cobra, put some stickers on it, that might be a fun project to do. So just to guys let you know, if you guys find these in the wild, I recommend them. Thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bags and I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below and let me know what you think of this cheap toy from the dollar store. Thanks. Bye.